gets to experience Dame Evelyn Glennie will never ever forget that moment of hearing her, watching her. She's the world's very first solo percussionist and before her there wasn't a percussion concerto. She's a phenomenal person, and then to add to her, that the fact that she was profoundly deaf by the age of 12, um, it just brings out a new um, understanding of what talented people can do. My percussion teacher was an extraordinary teacher. And it was him who really said, hold on a second, you know, if drums vibrate, does the human body, body also vibrate, or can it perceive vibration? And of course, that was the start of a very interesting journey. I was so happy when, when we were um, awarded the National Endowment of the Arts, because it's a really a stamp of approval. And to bring Evelyn Glennie and her talents and her insight to this community, we wanted to have a, a number of events where people could make the most of this opportunity. And so the School for the Deaf and Blind was involved and the Dialogue for a Difference TED talk that she gives, as well as a you know, sort of Spartanburg county-wide uh, percussion masterclass. Do you see how the sound is so percussive? Mm -hmm. With the kids, it's, it's how flexible they can be thinking and, um, and making sure that, you know, they get something out of this session. We're so used to sort of putting people in boxes and categorizing them and oh they're deaf so how are they going to enjoy music you know music is sound they can't hear sound so let's let's not put the two together well of course they can of course they can she moves people around she goes up to one person right nose to nose and, and you know this is how I do it and all of a sudden they're getting her motion her her momentum suddenly got up and played one note, everybody was just, wow. <laughs> it has meaning in everything she does. It's just like she's speaking or she's expressing the feeling of something all the time. Silence I don't think exists, to be honest. Um, you know, we think we might be sitting in a quiet room or something like that, or in the countryside where it's nice and peaceful, but, you know, ultimately there's always sound there just because we don't necessarily hear it through the ears. But actually, if we really opened ourselves up, sure enough, we would be able to feel something, you know. Something like the water phone is interesting because you can see the prongs move, you know, when you strike it or bow it, the prongs will move. So even if the sound is not registering by the audience, you know, if it's faded from their kind of oral landscape, it's still moving. So the sound is still there. I've had a wonderful time in Spartanburg. I really, truly have. I think, you know, it just sort of is a reminder that no matter where you are, it's the people that make the difference. This is your music. This is your orchestra. This is your music.